Do you want to know how to increase your lactate threshold by over 20 watts? And what the secret behind Mats Pedersen's great result in early 2025 is? It might surprise you. It is broccoli sprouts. Yes, seriously, <laughs> broccoli sprouts. So in this video, we will break down what broccoli sprouts actually are and the science behind it, which pro athletes that are using it and how you maybe can boost your own performance. And in the end, we will also discuss if this new supplement is too good to be true. Because hey, we all know we should not trust a guy on YouTube who says, take my supplement and use my code GETSCAM123 for better performance. Uh, yeah. And before we dive into the video, I just want to say that this video is not uh, sponsored or I just want to make a video to see if if this new supplement called Nuomio is too good to be true. So <laughs> this is no sponsored video. I just want to say that. I expect many of you have seen recently about a new supplement called uh, Nuomio, which have uh, taken the social media by storm, which is some people say the new thing in endurance athletes. Uh, so it all kicked off in 2019 when the Swedish uh, exercise physiology F Philip Larsen took a closer look at isotinocytes, uh, not the correct pronunciation, but also called ETC. I will say in this video uh, because ETC was often used in cancer and diabetes research. So he then took a look at if this could be a good impact on endurance athletes. Then he started off a study to find out that broccoli is very rich in this uh, nutrient or they have a very high concentration of it and especially broccoli sprouts. Later they did a study like an overtraining study which was the first one took a look at this supplement in endurance athletes. Uh, so the study design was that nine healthy and trained individuals to complete seven days of high intensity training and the training cap was though designed to mimic the stress athletes might experience during a peak training cap or a overreaching block. And there were two groups, one group that consumed broccoli sprouts drink twice a day and one group that get the placebo drink. And the broccoli drink was contained by 75 grams of fresh sprouts per serving, which gave them 150 grams uh, total per day. So the sessions uh, the groups did was, uh, as I said, a seven day period where they done really high intensity sessions, uh, about four to eight minutes intervals where they was 90 to 95% of VO2 max and also some sprints 30 seconds all out and heart rate, lactate levels and perceived exertion, the power was monitored. Before and after every intervention week, the team collected an impressive range of data including muscle biopsies, VO2 max tests, blood and plasma samples, lactate and glucose levels and so on and so on. And they find that the broccoli sprouts group showed significantly better adaptions compared to the placebo. Uh, and some of the key uh, results they found was that the uh, group with the uh, broccoli sprouts got reduced oxidative stress. The NRF2 levels increased only in the broccoli group, suggesting that the body ramped up its internal defense system. Carbon laid proteins, which is a marker of oxidized damage in muscles decreased with the broccoli but increased with the placebo uh, they also got better performance adaptations the blood lactate during submaximal cycling were significantly lower after broccoli sprout consumptions by as much as one to two millimole during threshold which is translated in watts like 15 to 20 watts high power output at a given lactate level which is a clear sign of improved metabolic efficiency. Time to exhaustions during a max test increased in the broccoli group, while it stayed the same in the placebo. And they also got improved glucose control 
Athletes in the broccoli group spent 50% less time in hypoglycemia overnight, measured by CGM. And also the bl blood glucose was more stable across the day, even though the insulin level didn't change, suggesting improved glucose regulation without hormonal interfaces. Interestingly, while performance and recovery improved, the mitochondria functions and content remained unchanged which means the benefits likely came from better metabolic regulations and not necessarily from building more mitochondria. So the conclusion is that this study showed that a 7-day broccoli sprout intervention during a tense training protected muscle from oxidative stress, it stabilized the sugar levels, it reduced lactate buildup and it improved endurance performance. And all of this happening without blunting adaptations which is known an issue with traditional antioxidants like vitamin C and E. The researchers conclude that rich broccoli sprouts act as a, as a form of smart stress, which triggering the body internal recovery system while still allowing it to adapt and improve, which is a very interesting take. So after this exciting found that uh, the broccoli sprouts increased performance, the researchers uh, started their own brand called Nuomio and uh, it is something that has exploded in the training world and because it's a Swedish brand they have got many Swedish ambassadors for example the runner Andreas Almgren and many in the Swedish ski team use it like Willem Pormeier and Anger you also got Tove Alexandersson which is a, which is a orienteer and also Tilda Monson, which is a Swedish triathlete so they got many many of the top athletes in Sweden and all of them have really lift this product called Nomeo sky high. Uh, I don't know if of course uh, they believe in it but they also is sponsored so it's a definition how how much we should believe in it but for sure I think many of these athletes many of them trust the product and use it to get better performance and Andreas Armgren really pushes hard that this decreases his lactate levels so for example if he's done a session where he thought he would be on five millimoles he may be on four and William Parma is talk really good about on the recovery side he often took it on the night before bed and, and he noticed directly that his HRE went up like 20 milliseconds and in one uh, podcast one of the founders said that they have been in Spain together with a world tour team and uh, they didn't say which team but uh, if you take a look at the, their Instagram, they are following many of the little tricks athletes. Uh, so I assume it's them. And he said that uh, they were very impressed about this product. Some weeks ago, Mats Pedersen claimed that he is one of the ambassadors for this product and have used it a lot. And we can take a look what Mats Pedersen said about the product on Instagram. I know one thing about broccoli. Actually, that's not true. I know two things about broccoli. One thing is the same in every language in the world. And second thing is it makes you a lot faster. With Numio, I have a different feeling on the bike. records on almost every uh, power 30 second one minute five minutes all the way up to 90 minutes during and bevel game was one of my first big classics using normio and it helped me yeah for sure to win and to be honest this was a performance of my life i did a 90 minutes best ever 400 watts and the most crazy part is how it went all out but was still able to recover quickly after each climb so my legs just felt amazing with normio i have a different feeling on the bike so what is this normio shot actually uh, it's a 60 centiliter shot with 80% broccoli juice and lemon juice and some sugar. Uh, in this uh, bottle it is 50 grams of broccoli spirits, which is around, if you would get the same amount of ETC in ordinary broccoli, you have to eat around 2.5 kilos, so it's very concentrated and everything of these shots makes in Sweden 
and the recommendations of using this product is uh, during interval sessions to get better stimuli and to train harder produce more watts and have lower blood lactates and you can also use this product in recovery on recovery during hard training week so to yeah get better recovery and they are not recommending to uh, use it during light training weeks because then you have no stress for the body because then it's you have nothing to use it for if you could say like uh, so so uh, now you think, great, I just buy as many of these normal shots as possible and then open up my wallet. Um, don't do that yet. Uh, while normal has shown promising effects in studies, and here's why you might want to hold off. It is still very early in the research and the main study was short term with a small sample size. So we don't really know how the long-term effects are or how it works in the real world of racing. One thing also is that the study didn't show how it affects peak lactate. Uh, I tried to find it out, but uh, if you got lower peak lactate, it might limit your gains in explosive power and glycolytic capacity. In Mats Pedersen's case, we have not seen that, so uh, uh, it may not affect the peak lactate. Uh, I don't really know about that yet. And it's also very expensive to uh, buy these shots. Uh, I think you got, uh, and you get uh, around 20 shots for about 100 euro, which is uh, pretty expensive, but uh, not uh, like expen expensive as uh, ketones, for example. Um, so yeah, that was a thing I had to say in this video. Uh, you may find it interesting and give it a try to test your own normio. And if you have it, uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. Ciao.